Hi guys, welcome to my review of the uh, Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Trail Master. Um, here it is with the black scales. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it and tell you what I think of it, how I use it, etc. etc. Um, so, I got this um, probably four or five months ago. Um, and I've been using it out and about when I go for little walks in the woods. Um, I bought it mainly for the saw blade. You can see it's got lots of marks on it, it's pretty manky, but um, that's just testament to the fact that I've actually been out using it. Um, using it to cut down bits of hazel um, so that I can make thumbsticks and uh, walking sticks and things like that. Um, but the whole whole tool as a whole is, is, is great. So I'll take you through the main blade. So obviously you've got this, you've got this hole here which you can get your thumb into. Open it one-handed, very useful. Um, I much prefer that to a conventional Swiss Army blade with the little thumb, uh, with the little kind of fingernail nick. Um, I never got on with those, hated those. Um, the blade itself is decent enough. There's a little bit of bend if you put a, you know, put too much stress on it. Um, it's effectively angle ground, uh, uh, anvil ground, um, in that it's entirely flat this side and just shaped on that edge. Um, kind of tricky to see, there you go. Um, obviously, straight blade there, and serrations are there. Um, when I'm out in the woods, I carry a, a couple of different knives. The majority of the knives I've got are unserrated, so to have something with serrations is a nice option, actually. It's nice to have that. Um, so if I'm cutting cord or something like that, this works quite well. I've actually used this mainly for um, food prep, so cutting fruit, um, cutting food. Um, it's quite nice just to have something that's dedicated to, to one task, and that's the food. So I use that mainly for this blade, mainly for that purpose. Uh, and as I say, I've got other other knives which are for you know whittling and uh, and you know woodcraft and, and processing wood and so on so that's the main blade um, again really really good and sharp um, and and pretty useful it's got a liner lock the liner lock works in the wrong direction <laughs> it works that way so you push it push it that way obviously with a conventional knife you just push it that way um, and and it'll, it would close um, but here you have to push it back on itself and it closes. Um, lock, uh, locking um, screwdriver with a bottle cap lifter, and oh, a little bit stiff. Uh, another driver with um, a can opener, which I've actually used, works quite nicely. Um, that doesn't lock, I don't think. It locks out there, but again, just folds back in without a liner lock. This has got two positions here, so you can. Get some torque on uh, on something, um, and your conventional position, um, and that does have a line of lock on it as well. Just a line there, um, and then on the back, posi drive or Phillips screwdriver, and an awl. Again, this one is tricky to get out, um, but the awl's pretty decent. Um, works quite nicely. Um, it's got a bit of a, a blade to it on this side and obviously a pointy tip um, and I've used that a few times as well very useful but as I said the main thing that I bought this for was the saw I've got a, 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 a larger compact saw um, which is about that long overall it's just a big plastic handle with a blade set into it that slides out the end it's made by Gerber um, and it's okay but it's um, it's not the best saw um, and it's not particularly compact um, but it will get through it's a wood that sort of size I don't think I'd want to spend too much time uh, processing with that sort of size um, this by contrast will probably give you something you know, that sort of diameter maybe a bit maybe yeah, I wouldn't want to go much much thicker than that in terms of a piece of wood um, but it's an absolute beast of a saw it really has got fantastic serrations um, and um, it, it's a push pull so you can you know you can really get into it rather than just pulling away at a piece of wood um, and yeah it makes short work of, of, of smaller thumb sized branches a few strokes and you're through pretty much um, and yeah for coppicing pieces of hazel um, to make um, make pot hangers 
or walking sticks or whatever it might be, um, it's fantastic. And that's the main purpose for, for this tool, for me buying this tool. I spent about 30 quid on it, I think it was 29 pound or something like that on, on Amazon. Um, and I have to say it's well worth it. It's my first Swiss Army knife pro uh, product um, in decades. I had a very, very small one. In fact, I've still got one. Um, it's probably about that size. Um, um, and it's yeah, it's it, it's a good, but I, I wouldn't want a, a larger one without this um, easy opening, single-handed um, hole on it because they are a bit of a pain to get out. Um, I like this so much, so I wanted to make sure that I kept hold of it. Um, okay, so here is the uh, the case um, for it. Um, I bought this separately. It was sixteen pounds off of Amazon. Velcro closing. It's really nice quality, actually. Um, it's um, all leather. Um, the interior of it, on the inside in here, is a some kind of cloth. Um, it's kind of tricky to see. Yeah, you won't be able to see that. But that's some more additional lighting. Um, there you go. Um, but it's nice and soft. It's not going to uh, damage um, the knife or scratch it up in any way. Um, belt loop on the back, um, which is of a decent size. I was worried I was going to buy one that was a bit too small, um, but it works perfectly. If you look on Amazon, you'll find these. Look within the comments and the questions, and they'll they'll show you which ones are which and which which will fit. Um, but I really like the case. It's really high quality, um, and it's nice just to, be able to keep this nice and safe because you know thirty quid. Okay, it's not a huge amount of money when compared to a Leatherman, but it's um, it's a reasonable outlay. And I hope to keep hold of this and this for a long time to come. So I'm going to pop that back in there. If you've got any comments, um, if you like the video, please like, share it, um, and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more reviews. I've already done one of the Gerber Crucial, so check that one out. Um, I've got some more stuff coming up with tents. I've got a, a mini tent that I've, uh, that I've purchased. Um, and also maybe some motorbike stuff as well. So if you're interested in that, do keep... Thank you.